Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the latest LG phone, the latest LG high-end phone because the Mobile Mobile World Congress have, I think it started today in Barcelona, which is this big phone event. So now we know some new cool things about the official specs on LG's high-end phone for this year. So I want to talk about it here. So it's called LG G6. Uh, the processor is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821, which uh, sounds a little bit boring compared to Samsung, which is probably going to have the Snapdragon 835. The display is going to be 5.7 inch, 18 by 9, 20, uh, 2880 times 1440 pixels. That sounds like a lot. That sounds extremely high, actually, especially with 2880. 564 pixels per inch. That's crazy. Operating system is Android 7.0 Nougat, uh, which uh, LG's uh, own UI on top. 4 gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM. Storage is 32 gigabytes, uh, but also with SD card, micro SD card storage. And I think SD cards these days goes up to maybe even 200 gigabytes something, at least, well, like 100 gigabytes. A uh, camera is a 30 megapixel, a wide angle one with f2.4. And what else? 125 degrees, 30 megapixels, standard f1.8, dual rear cameras. Okay. And then a 5 megapixel front facing, wide angle as well with f2.2, 100 degrees camera. Okay. Uh, wireless technology here is pretty interesting because it's coming with, I think, Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth 4.2, which I think uh, can be some new Bluetooth uh, thing. At least I know it, I'm pretty sure that the new Sami phone is going to have the new Bluetooth version or something. And the cool thing with the new Bluetooth is it should be faster, but I don't remember if it was Bluetooth 4.2, if that is the new Bluetooth. I don't know, but someone can correct me in the comment section down below. It has NFC, of course. Uh, water resistance, nice, nice, good, good LG. IP68 dust and water resistance rating. Hopefully it will be better than the iPhone, which I, I didn't think that one handled dust and water resistance that well. Uh, battery, 3300 milliamps, which is good. Quick charge 3.0 and wireless charging. That is nice. Wireless charging is like Sammy usually have. It's 7.9 millimeters in thickness, 163 grams. Colors will be ice, platinum, and mystic white. And also an astro black version. The mystic white, it seems like that one is not going to be a well bought in the US. So how is the, how is the, the LG G6 built up? Well, it has a internal central aluminum plate, and then around the phone it has an aluminum frame, and the, the front and the back of the LG G6 is in glass. Now, it's doing this because it, with glass they can use this wireless charging thing that Samsung also is using. And so, yeah, and uh, the phone is a bit uh, rounded as well. So, metal frame, and this internal design uh, it's also going to help from uh, if you accidentally drop the device so different shocks or you know if you drop it the impact and stuff like that it's gonna help the structure of the device so it's uh, hopefully it's gonna be more reliable compared to some earlier LG devices uh, also why it has this internal metal plate is because of heat so it, uh, it's supposed to, like if you play a lot of games and stuff like that, it's supposed to cool down the device uh, while operating uh, with this uh, internal heat pipe. So that is, that is that. And water resistant, wireless charging as I already said. Uh, the G6 is also going to have a Dolby Vision and um, it's also gonna have HDR10, so um, movie viewing should be pretty decent. Uh, also alongside with, as I already said, this 18 by nine aspect radio and this so-called full vision display. We don't really know what that means, but <laughs> we are gonna see. Of course, also as you can see on the front side, the bezels are extremely small, uh, so it creates this extremely pretty, pretty front side design. Audio is also gonna be, uh, um, a little bit um, similar to what we had in the LG V20. I never got that device, but uh, it had a, the 32-bit uh, quad duck uh, uh, audio system. 
so that is going to be uh, interesting but that also depends on what country you live in what kind of version you are going to get of the lg so they might have different features depending on where you live and uh, depending on if you're in us europe or asia they're gonna have different variants uh, with a little bit difference in specs and also the lg v20 also had this dual camera thing so it's nice that we're gonna enjoy that on the LG G6 and see how that one is. Uh, this modular design that we had on the G5 that is now removed, you don't have that anymore. On the G5 you could replace the battery, now you won't be able to do that. And you won't have this uh, camera grip uh, modular uh, thing that you got on the G5. But um, I'm not really gonna miss that. The G5 had some problems with the sharp edges. It was just a little bit boring. The, the metal frame on this one is gonna be extremely nice. Uh, LG's own UI on top of Android 7.0 Nogat is LG UX 6.0. Uh, and also interesting with this device is that Google is going to uh, bring out the Google Assistant. So you're going to have a, a, a assistant uh, that Google right now is using on the Google Pixel XL. So it's going to help you a little bit more with like this uh, kind of like a Siri or like an S voice, but uh, a little bit more with uh, more Google stuff. Um, yeah, and also it, it's going to have a special functionality inside of the camera where you should be able to review photos that you take and then simultaneously also be able to take new photos. So I'm not quite sure that's gonna work, but it sounds interesting. Um, and the phone is gonna be available on March the 10th. Uh, and of course, pricing is probably gonna be like six, 800 euros or something. And of course, uh, with carrier is gonna be a bit cheaper or no, actually more expensive probably. But then of course you get a contract. A contract that's a big thing in the, the North America. Uh, but uh, yeah, quick video talking a little bit about it. Hopefully you all did enjoy and I'm pretty sure this phone also has USB Type-C and all of those good things there with the quick charge. So um, We're gonna see how this one is gonna be but uh, sounds pretty decent. Yeah, have a great day